Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my Path to Power episode number four, the World Cup Final. Hopefully, our first final of many. I'm using the two squad or two fitness individual player fitness cards on my two icons, hoping that that'll make sure they have that extra special something to see us through the final. If you haven't seen how we got here, make sure you click the playlist in the description down below. Go check out the last episode. We had a thrilling semifinal uh, that we managed to win. And I actually took a break after that before coming back to play this World Cup because I had to just chill out. I had to cool down and make sure my nerves were properly about me. I forgot the like extra little bit of pressure. Well, maybe it's even more than a little bit, but the extra pressure that I put on myself when I do these episodes to make sure that I do well so I can share some cool gameplay, some nice goals with you guys. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I was like level-headed going into this final. So eventually, we are going to find a match. I don't know if you guys have been watching any of the Amsterdam tournament that's been going on here, but... I have been so impressed with some of the players. Uh, one player in particular, Nicholas99FC. He plays for or represents transfer marks. But what's been so impressive, and I was tweeting about this earlier, if you ever want to go back and watch it, watch how this guy defends. And real quick, look at this team. This is what we were nervous about, the type of squad I was nervous about coming up against, going in with my squad, like, there's zero debate here in my mind that is a better team than the team that I have. But if you're going to go back, watch any of Amsterdam, watch how Nicholas defends, watch his player switching. It's so, so good. And I haven't heard the commentators pointing out yet. They talk about how he's a machine. He's an absolute machine, but just, just check it out for me. We're getting things started right away and just trying to not rush things forward. Uh, there has been a little bit of an update on the game, or I had to download a squad file, so I don't know if anything's changed or not yet, but only time will tell. And you can see this guy already paused it, and he, what he's eventually going to do, really fortunate for that deflection right there, finds Lineker, and the deflection, that is the start we are looking for in this final. Kingsley Komen, he scored so many important goals for us so far. And hopefully many more to come because he is one of, even on my main account, one of the best left-sided players that I've used. Nice defensive header, and it falls to Blaze Matuidi of all people, and he just smashes it in. Could not believe it. Um, I lost my train of thought, and I don't know what I was talking about before that, so we're going to just keep on rolling uh, in this final, but... This guy, oh, this is what I was talking about. He brought on, like, Neymar and Messi. You can see Messi in the background of that. But he brought on some, like, really fantastic players. And his team was just fully low. Oh, and then he brought on Aguero for Lukaku as well. Nice block there from, um, not my Matuidi. That was his Matuidi trying to break forward. And Matuidi could be a fun player to use, but we're working our attack forward slowly, but surely 71st minute. I'm just trying not to rush it. And I'm going to try to just take what he gives me. Uh, and right here, I would have maybe had the opportunity to ping it down, but Komen didn't really make a big break. Lineker did. And I just didn't, I just didn't want to force it. And here we get the ball to Lineker's feet. And you can see, I'm not taking that pass forward because he, the way he's defending, if I try to rush it forward too much with a 4-2-3-1, he'll be able to collapse and my player will get a little too isolated. Silva in a good spot. Inside pass to Pele. Pele somehow finds Shakiri and Shakiri the go-ahead goal, 75th minute. And I just, at this point, I'm not even going to lie, I went ultra defensive. And gladly so. This is a big World Cup victory. For us, the weaker team without question. And it also means that we're going to get 15,000 coins, two packs. And that's a big deal. That's going to get us a lot farther. And so those of you guys that have won the World Cup or wanted to see with the World Cup celebration, I actually, when I scored that goal with, with Shakiri, I like yelled. I was so pumped. My wife was like, what's going on up there? Because uh, I've got my little gaming set up upstairs right now. And I was like, I just won the World Cup. 
She's like, what's wrong? You're such a weirdo. Uh, but I don't think so because you can get hyped playing these games. There's nothing wrong with that. And Pele, our uh, captain for, I guess, three more games maybe now uh, before he ends his loan spell with the club and says goodbye. He has, you know, he hasn't been my favorite player. Um, I think he's very good. I just don't think I use him uh, to his maximum potential and that's okay. Um, perhaps I'll switch around formations coming up here and try to, I don't know, play around with a formation where he would be, where I think he would be more useful in the next group stage and see if we can't do more with it. You can see only four shots, four on target for me. I did control the possession. He had seven shots, five on target. A lot of them came from, he would like take a long shot, get a corner, get another long shot out of it. Uh, the game, I just felt like it was so, so against me, especially after that Matt Tweedy goal went in. Cause that was like his, the type of chances that he was taking, not low percentage, but not super high percentage where I feel like my defense has been beaten. Not a great first pack. Not a great second pack. This was so disappointing because the amount that you get boards from these packs is actually pretty high. And to not get two after winning the World Cup, it feels bad, man. So I decided to take the extra players that we've gotten from the packs and head on over, complete the squad builder or the SBC squad building challenges and try to get some better players in. So we get the second step. We head on over to the third step. Not going to trade in Lineker. We did do the icon one, and I'm glad we did because Lineker and Pele, both very, very important in our World Cup run. Pele, obviously, alone, but uh, Lineker proving to be super, super important for us. And he, it's it's nice with a 4-1-4-1 because if you have a icon striker, you get uh, you can actually make a hybrid. Uh, if you don't have a hybrid striker, just based on the way chemistry works with the formation, there's so many links. It's not like a 4-3-3 base where the links are very direct. The 4-1-4-1 has links for days, just oodles and oodles of links. And it makes it really challenging if you don't have some icons in there to make cool hybrid teams. Uh, so here... I didn't want to use, um, I think it's Stefan is the the Swiss left mid because he's kind of pacey and he just would fit into the squad a little bit easier and could be a rotational player for Kingsley Komen uh, to start things off or to not start things off, but to kind of help us out a little bit. And so I thought better of putting him into the SBC uh, which I think is a smart move. Only time will tell, but we've, we're going to have 15,000 coins to work with after this too. And so really started thinking what am i gonna do 281 plus pair player pack that's a big deal too i the grind is so good and i really i guess i kind of wish and just not another walkout that was crazy i couldn't believe it at this point i was like you've got to be kidding me because i've had much better luck on my main account even to the point of packing uh cristiano ronaldo now and on when you got i got those three packs i was like oh it's all against me and then we get fabianski in the next one i was like okay at least it's an 82 rated goalkeeper from the eu like nava's probably gonna be replaced at this point just to get that extra bit of chemistry uh but just not great overall here's the big pack we knew we were gonna get something good and paulinho is actually fantastic and i was really excited but he doesn't really work with our team that said, we have a super sub, and we get Summer as well, who is an upgrade from Fabianski. So we're just adding to goalkeepers. Remember, one of our packs from before, we got the French goalkeeper, Castillo. So I decided to take the 15,000 coins and head into an offline draft. I asked on Twitter, and a lot of people said the offline draft's better if you're building a European team because it gives you a guaranteed European player pack. I'm going to show you guys the drafts of the players that I get and then just grind, out, grind through the draft itself without showing any highlights because... I don't really think that's super interesting content, but it's important when you're uh, grinding through like a Rodegori, a path to power, if you will, trying to get the best team. It's important to make the most of your coins. And in a game mode without a market, getting the best packs that you can out of your coins is important. And you'll see the results. And no matter whether you whether or not you play on beginner or on legendary you get the exact same packs which maybe in the future kind of like the squad battles if you'd play on a higher di difficulty it might be cool to get 
better packs. Um, at least I think so, but uh, still get decent packs maybe if it's not a great difficulty. So I went with the false nine because I thought it'd be a bit of fun. I want to try it out, see how it played. We got Messe, we got Pele, Asensio, Kroos, Kadira, Paulinho, uh, Hummels, Marquinhos, Steny, Alves, and in the final match, we win 6-0. And it was fine, and I gave up a penalty in the third one with a pretty rash slide tackle, but that was fine. That was fun. So we get a standard pack, a premium pack, 5,000 coins, and a European players pack to add to our team. Really, really good, and I think a really good use of 15,000 coins. Even though it's not a ton of gameplay for this episode, it's a lot of steps forward. And I saw the Portugal flag flash up, and I thought, oh my gosh, I packed Ronaldo. It is over. It's done. I am going to be able to dominate from this point forward. Not the case. But we upgrade our keeper even more. And Danilo Pereira, a awesome-looking CDM, at least for breaking it up. I wish his passing was a little bit better, but... It certainly can be rotational and links up nicely with all the other Portuguese players that we seem to keep on packing. So I decided to go with the European players pack here just because it was smaller and I was hopeful. And I couldn't believe it when this came up. All right. I just couldn't believe it. Spanish goalkeeper. I was like, no, it's De Gea, isn't it? And it is De Gea. So we are sorted for the keeper position from this point forward. We've packed so many keepers so far. If there was an all goalkeeper SBC that comes out, I'm not going to complain because I will have plenty of keepers to throw in there. On the topic of uh, what's happening. Also, Lucas Vasquez is a great player for us to get for this because he could rotate nicely with Shakiri. Good work rates for the way I like the outside mids to play. Um, remember, there's going to be all sorts of dynamic stuff happening during the World Cup. So I'm kind of thinking I want to get as many players as I possibly can because it's going to give us all sorts of options when the World Cup actually starts happening. So in our final pack, we get Andre Scherle. Uh, good left-sided option to rotate with Kingsley Komen. So I am very happy. I feel like the draft was worth it. And now I have to figure out whether or not I want to spend the coins that I have or whether or not I want to wait for another draft. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should do. Other than that, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.